Hello, in this problem we're going to sketch the graph. So this is an equation of an ellipse. Okay, the equation of an ellipse. And you know it's an ellipse because there's a plus sign here and these numbers are different. If these numbers are the same, like if these are both 25s and there's a plus sign, basically you multiply by 25 and you get a circle. But because these numbers are different and there's a plus sign and you have the squareds here, it matches the general formula uh, for uh, an ellipse. So let's go ahead and find the center. So the center here, to find the center, you just switch the signs. So it'll be 3, 1, because the center is HK. So this will be 3, 1. You just switch the sign here and switch the sign here. And then we need to find A. So in an ellipse, this is really important, a is the square root of the bigger number. So the bigger number here is 25. So in an ellipse, A is always the square root of the bigger number. That's so key. And so in this case, it's 5. Okay, you want, you want the positive square root. So A is 5. And then B is the square root of the other one. So in this case, B is the square root of 4, which is just 2. So I'm just going to go ahead and put 2. Because the bigger number is under the Y, the major axis of this ellipse is vertical. That means we're going to go up and down by A. Okay. If the bigger number was under the X, we would go left and right by A. Another way to think about it is you just take the square root of this number, and because it's under the Y, you go up and down by that number. Um, but I think it's more instructive to recognize which one is the major axis because when you're asked for other things, such as the foci, then you have to know which one the major axis is. So I think this is a better way to think about it. So in an ellipse, A is the square root of the bigger number. In this case, the square root of 25, so it's 5. B is the square root of the other one. To find the center, switch the signs. Okay, let's go ahead and graph this. And you know my graphs aren't perfect. We'll do the best we can do here. So this is the y-axis. It's supposed to be a straight line. This is the x-axis. Okay. And then, so the center is 3, 1. Let me use a different color here. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 1. And there's the center of our ellipse. So from the center, because the major axis is vertical, we're going to go up and down by 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right there, it's a rough point. Then down by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's roughly there. And then left and right by two. So one, two, because that's the B. One, two, that's the B. And then we're going to do our best here to connect the dots. And hopefully it doesn't look like a diamond. I'm pretty bad. My artwork, it did not take art in college because I was afraid I would fail. Oh, it's, oh that, that's just got to clean that up a little bit. So just let me just do it fast. If I do it fast and don't think about it, you know, because it's not going to cross pretty bad let's just there we go because <laughs> you know where is it going to intersect right i'm not finding the intercepts so i'm being a little loose here with the intercepts um another way to do it is to not use tick marks so like you can label the points and that way if you know you cross at somewhere that doesn't seem to be uh where you should be crossing it's it's okay in any case that's how you do it i hope this has been helpful good luck